And gentlemen, welcome back. We are here with TXP3, and we have one hell of a match getting ready for you. I am Daniil Bettersen Mickey Brown, joined by the one and only illustrious Call of Duty royalty. Go ahead. You don't have to be that nice to me. <laughs> well, do. yeah, uh, back finally for <laughs> Sunday. Let me see more everybody, and I'm very excited to get into the top four of TXP3. We got a lovely trophy here for all of the players who are going to be looking to walk out of that grand final and face the challenge of taking down God Bowser and Co. Mm -hmm. over on Pulsive. So far, nobody has risen to the occasion. Nobility Rising, they almost so did. Close. So close to the reverse sweep. But now we drop in towards the lower side of things, the lower bracket, where we're taking a look at the uh, the mostly Canadian stage. Everybody except Nacho <laughs> taking the uh, taking the seat and ready to battle for elimination for top three in the tournament. We got Penjol Day versus Saint Clair Saints, and this is going to be a fun one, especially considering the hometown team retaking the stage. Oh yeah, the Saints also just before this had, I'm sure you were there for it, an insane series. Ruler. A little bit of a civil war, people were calling it, against their teammate KB. But we're going straight into the action, ladies and gentlemen. Panjal, they for Saints Gaming on this hardpoint map. And we're going to get started off already. And Nacho, the honorary Canadian, I like to call him, already throwing out some nades. Wonders, seeing if he can make some of the work over here. But not going to find any luck getting taken down. And Slay as well. Priest is going to go down. But Storms finding his way up onto the point. But he's going to get put down by Brandon. Yeah, this is a little bit of a sneaky team here. We were talking about it behind the scenes as Penjal Day was just clawing their way through the lower bracket. I mean, this is a team that grinds, aids, whatever you're looking at in the Canadian side of Call of Duty. Penj all day. These members, they are absolute grinders when it comes down to the game. So Saints Gaming coming into this. They got a good map set, starting off with a double dose of Rio. Definitely going to play to their favor of team coordination. So Penj all day. Hopefully they have everything put together to take down these, this squad. And so far, they are able to flip these spawns. They have a good standing in the back, but they have to worry about a member. It's Nacho trying to hold these spawns. Nacho with a big kill onto Wonders. Going to draw a couple of members back here. Aram not able to get those two. So this should be early time to Saints over towards P2. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is really cooking up here. The Saints were doing such a good job of keeping Penge all day really cornered off into that little corner of the map. And now Saints have completely retaken that corner and are keeping them out of it. Penge all day struggling to find any leeway onto the point right now. But as you can see, there's going to be a duel coming up. Priestly going to win that. Oh, actually, no. Jay Stwix going to take him down, but not too later after. Bendy's going to take him out. Revenge for his fallen teammate. Saints are making their way back onto the point. Bendy with a five killing spree. You now even up get up to six. Saints are looking on fire right now, completely dominating this hard point. Now, Bendy having a fantastic tournament so far across Saturday and Sunday. Now up to eight kills in a row, 10 and two to start this Rio search. Oh, uh, Rio hard point. Couldn't ask for a better start there from Bendy. Fantastic in this map mode combo. And St. Clair, 71 to four, heading into the third rotation. Priestly now looking to punish in towards those spawns. See if he can throw some threats around. Twix is going to shut him down. A little bit of back and forth for Penge all day. Finally, they get their toes into the hill. But can they hold it, Neil? I don't know because the Saints are just constantly putting a barrage, contesting it now, taking it over completely. Runders finally winning that duel out, but kind of a little bit of a missed opportunity there, shooting the wall before he found the, uh, his mark. And now we're going to see Aram holding it down back over here, seeing if he can get his way onto the point, contesting now. But the Saints are just doing a great job of constantly pressuring them. Hey, I don't want to sound biased, but these Saints guys, they're pretty good. Hey, they're pretty, pretty nasty, the video game. We learned that in Nace, we learned that in CCL, and here we get to see it at TX. XP as well on the main stage and nationals too <laughs> can't forget about that these are champions in their own respective rights for call of duty collegiate and now with Penchal Day making a little bit of a turnaround worth a couple of points. They put together what looks like around 30 inside of P3. They have to look towards this break over towards P4 with the back spawns. Uh -oh. Wonder is going to tease the corner. Can uh -oh. he find a kill? Bro! He will. Bendy shut down. Okay. That should be the go ahead for the rest. Traded is Twix. Storm's trying to work this flank. Slides out, but not going to check his corner. That's a clean fork down there from Saints. Able to restabilize and get into the hill. 
Yeah, meeting now 100. This hill is as good as theirs. Again, manipulating the spawn so well, forcing them all to spawn on the opposite side of the map. And Brandon, ready for anything, taking down Jay Swiss. And now a little bit of a duel coming out here. Wonders emptying his mag, but hey, it's going to work out in his favor. Going to have to reload now, but you got the kill. It's all you need to worry about. Wonders also wondering if he can get his run to the point. That he does, fighting around this box, or uh, the van rather. If anyone's going to be able to peek around that corner, get him down, that's going to be Brandon finding the kill, but he's going to get taken out as well. Now, now, seems that hard point still going the way of the Saints. This hill is not changing colors anytime soon, and it's just going to be scrap points remaining. Both teams looking for the next one. Yeah, and that's fantastic from Saints. You saw that Bendy took it into his own right to overextend past that P4 hill in towards the garage, allow for the help to you know retake that hill together. So Saints maintaining a 100 point lead, heading into the last hard point of this first set of rotations, and they're winning the majority of the kills. Storms is going to be caught through the player outside of bridge that's Priestley with the MCW so into the hill is Saints in gaming looking to rack up even more of a lead and Penj all day can have to fight through the middle of the map you see a couple of players are looking for control of you very well done. These guys are getting everything that they need. Finding these exchanges down the hallway. Brandon sliding up, finding that clean kill onto ARAM. That was picture perfect, but not so much on that one. A bit of an amateur painting, but still, it's going to get the job done. Find his way into the museum. 20 seconds left on this hill. Looking like a strong lead. Looks like we have a disconnect possibly from one of these members. One of the players inside the lobby was standing still, so maybe some technical issues on the main stage. St. Clair, they had such good lead there on the Rio hard points where they just kept on winning the rotations, winning their gunfights, and locking down those spawns. Very fundamental, very straightforward for the team. Cool, calm, collected. It's what you'd like to see from a team who has been playing together for a very long time now. And on mm -hmm. the other side, uh, for Penj all day, you started to see some moments where they were kind of breaking into the map and having their individual I, I guess their individual moments as a team because we didn't really get to see too much team coordination when it mm -hmm. came down to, to their breaks or their holds but you need to see a little bit more um communication a little bit more uh Cohesiveness, cohesiveness yeah. when it comes down to Penj all day because this is a team in St. Clair that you're playing against and you're going to their favorite map of Rio Hardpoint. On their stage. On their stage. You're <laughs> in their hometown. You're on their map. You have to go into this with the mindset of that if you're not playing as a team, you're not going to beat these Saints. We saw mm -hmm. it uh, yesterday in Saints on the main stage versus Pulsive. Pulsive came into this tournament with reps together and they destroyed the Saints. Even on Rio, Saints haven't looked as good as they have in in the past because they're finding some pushback from a lot of these teams that have been preparing for TXP3 and I know that this squad over on Penj all day has the ability to play together well mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know what it is, if it's the Sunday jitters, if you're getting onto the main stage mm -hmm. playing St. Clair and it's just not clicking for the team, but fortunately enough, I hate to say it, they're going to be able to go back into this with a clear mind mm -hmm. into what I would imagine is a reset with a little bit of advantage over towards St. Clair. But no matter which way you look at this for Penj all day, they have to wipe the memory of what just happened to them, the absolute dominance that was St. Clair there on the real hard point, and take this fresh start and run with it. So they're actually going to go for the full reset. I was assuming they probably try to match up the points or anything. Well, I'm not sure yet. Who knows at this point, but like you're mentioning before, these teams here are really giving the Saints a run for the money, and someone who's casting the Saints to Call of Duty team pretty regularly, I can say it's not very often you see this team challenged in the collegiate space, so here, it's really nice to see them really tested, see if their uh, capabilities, see whether or not they can play as a team and overcome anybody who's able to really figure out their strategies and put an effective stop to it, so Penj all day, I know this team is very capable of playing strong, playing like a team, but right now, it seems like they're not finding their footing, and this Saints are just kind of taking this, taking it by storm. Uh, but as we're getting ready, hopefully getting back into the game soon, might throw it to a quick break. But before we do, uh, like you said, Penj all day, they're going to have to clear their minds and come into this with a nice, optimistic mindset. Is there anything you like to do to kind of oof, just get the jitters out of you get before an exciting match? Just talk amongst each other. I think there's no better way to clear your mind than to figure out the issues. And, you know, once you get those issues out, talk amongst your team, say like, what's going wrong? You can start to find that solution. Mm -hmm. And I hope that Penj all day, they have that chance between maps to talk about what was going wrong on that reel because desperately gonna need a little bit of a turnaround when they come back from this little break. When we figure out what's going on in main stage, folks, you don't go anywhere. You're watching TXP top four. We'll be back with more Rio.
Welcome back, everybody, to TXP3. We got Saints Gaming on the main stage of their hometown. Penge all day. They're challengers here. Looking to take them down in this elimination match. Losers round four. Winner moves to Nobility Rising for a chance to play for that grand finals. Repulsive is waiting. Loser walks away with nothing. Penge all day after the reset. Gonna have to be looking at a full 250. Saints only need 150 points here on the Rio to win this map number one. So off the reset, we're kicking things off. St. Clair fighting from the less preferred side, but still into the hard point, contesting for it. Absolutely, and hey, Saints, like you said, only need to get 150. That's your reward for playing so dominant in that first uh, timeline before we have to hit a hard reset. But as you see here, Nacho wanting to bring things back to their former glory as Penge all day having a very strong start but the Saints are making their way onto the point. Aram is down and two of them are making their way over already pre-firing. Priestley is getting a nice clean headshot. Jay Swix needing to run for his life. Priestley with a triple kill on the point. Saints are bringing things back already. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Bendy having a fantastic start before the issues happen in lobby. This time it's Priestley off to a hot start. Four and two. Nacho was on three in a row before getting shut down there. But you have a player trying to work into this next rotation. It's Bendy all the way back towards those gates. Nice trade there from Twix. But there's still more work to be done and he's got storms on his wings. So Penge all day with a much needed break over towards P2. Twix not going to be able to get in there but has Wonders watching over him with an MCW. Fantastic double kill. It's going to teeth the Saints away. And a little bit of time here for Penge all day. Aram going to find another two. Wonder acting like a guardian angel for his team. Those are beautiful kills to witness. Now Penge all day. 35 on the board. Saints on the board. Wonder's having a barrage of stun grenades coming his way. Needing to fight through the concussions to fight his way to victory. He's going to fall eventually for Storms holding down this angle beautifully. Priestley and the rest of the Saints are slowly rotating over. 20 seconds left on this point. Penge all day. 50 points up. Saints are going to have to do a lot of work to find what they were doing before and bring it back and maybe it's going to be a little easier than I thought as just at the end of this hard points life they're going to find it back Saints are going to take control and already rotate over to the next one Saints are going to have a very strong footing on this hill and they're not getting ready to die on it anytime soon no they are not St. Clair feet to the ground guns to the sky right now watching above Ooh, these yeah. escalators wonders trying to look for a way in he's going to jump down zigzag Ooh. finds one traded by nacho still st Clair holding on to this p3 hill and back to the respawns for penge all day so looking to wait to group up as four hit this one together and it looks like it's going to be a split push from the outside through Zig into the slaughterhouse that is St. Clair's crossfire. Another set of kills, only one more members. Wonders goes down and St. Clair looking to have a flawless P3 here. Just one more hit to take care of. Yeah, and that's going to be Brandon taking that bounty, keeping that in his wallet nice and clean. They're going to tie it up now and surpass their previous record. Actually, now it's going to get contested rather very briefly, but that hard point not going to be much longer longer for this world and seems Penjal Day already triangulating, setting up a nice pyramid of defense over on the next one. It's gonna be hard for the Saints to get through, but I'm sure these boys have something up their sleeves. Yeah, Wonders now knowing exactly where the respawns are coming from from St. Clair. He's gonna be watching the outside. Nice double kill with the Renetti, but in a little bit of trouble, Brandon trades it. Still a two for one there for Penjal Day, so Still safe and sound to soak up a little bit of this hard point time. Lead by 10 and St. Clair, they need to find an answer soon because Penge, they're putting it together. 77 to 65, another four kills in a row for St. Clair. As Priestley looking to try to make some openings for the team, but I mean, this is under lock and key right now. Penge, they don't want to let anybody through just yet, Ooh. but Brandon, can he be the answer? Quick double kill, nine and seven. Gonna need a little bit of help here from Priestley, and that seems to be what's gonna arrive here. Priestley takes Twix out of the hill, and for the last 10 seconds, Penge all day might look to the rotation of P5. Brandon took me back to Black Ops with that drop shot. What a beautiful one that was. Wonders looking to return the favor, but no, it's gonna be Jaswix taking down Notch Slayer in that duel. Now, hard point switching over. Saints are already on that one. Bendy's there, but he's about to have some friends meeting him there. Wonders taking him out as he was running through without a care in the world. Penge all day taking control at this point once more, and 
and they're just about to break 100. Uh, if things keep going their way, it's not going to be that difficult, but they just need to make their way down to that hard point and make sure that they can really establish a strong presence on it. The Saints are not too far away, however, and they're going to be doing some damage. R shots are ringing out underneath that little bridge, but the Saints need to make sure that this push that they're about to make is well coordinated or else we know that Penj all day is going to be able to punish them. Brandon finding one flank and they're starting to get comfortable with this push. I think they're going to be able to, yep, they are able to find their way onto the hard point. And now Penj all day just playing the map, making sure they have full control. So wherever the next hard point goes, they're going to be comfortable for it. But Brandon already ready. Hey, could, this could be pretty big. No, finds one. But on the left side, another one's going to be ready for him. And just as a reminder, only 50 more points for St. Clair to take this map. Number one, Nacho into the second set of rotations, looking to keep St. Clair in this P1. It's a good fight back from Storms, but still Penj all day. Going to have to contest this one. Make sure that St. Clair can't get too much time. There's a flank coming out from Bendy. He's in behind. Nobody knows. Priestley, the nade's going to land. The trades are out. Brandon keeping this one forward for the Saints and locking down some time here to inch closer to a map victory. They won't win it off this hard point, but still pinch all day. Going to have to send some bodies here to contest. All these nades coming out from these teams. I love seeing it's complete chaos on this midpoint. Nowhere safe. Storm definitely going to be feeling that one in the morning. Morning. Bendy putting down Wonder. Uh, Nacho taking out Aram with the assistance of his teammate. Just a couple more seconds remaining. Just 30 before the Saints can take this game and call it their own. Priestley watching this doorway like his life depends on it, and it kind of does, but unfortunately, he's going to get bested in this duel. In the lower right side of the map on that hill, Penj all day once again establishing strong control. Can the Saints mount a strong and fast enough offensive to steal this one away fast enough? 19 seconds. It's one break for Saints, especially over towards P2 if they can flip these spawns. Player number four, Storm, spawns into the back, so still safe to reinforce this hard point. A player into so info that's not going to get cleaned up. All eyes forward for Penge. Penge. Oh, yeah, sorry, but hey, you know, one thing that's really important and scary is to mention is that Penge all day, they're on a momentum streak and they are. they're doing a lot of work right now. So St. Clair grouping up for a hit here. They know they can win off of this hard point still and Priestly above frying these members. Oh, Bendy's going to get the second one and that's going to be Saints in towards the hill. 17 seconds. Still can win it off of this P2 rotation and Bendy's going to take it to the spawn. Storms dropped. Everybody running towards this and crossfire is set in stone. And St. Clair taking map number one. Nobody's going to get here in time. Taking the Rio and leading this lower semifinal. Very very strong start for the Saints. A lot stronger when we started off, but once again, after that reset came through, Penj all day had a very strong showing shortly afterwards. Saints were able ultimately, especially with their nice advantage that they earned from that previous one, able to take things back pretty strong and ultimately win it out. So what a showcase too from this team because that was Penj all day off the reset. You, you saw them starting to put the pieces together. You mm. saw a little bit more cohesion, some better setups. They were actually reading the spawns of St. Clair and trying to push forward and play that aggressive a, a stance to hopefully keep St. Clair a little bit further away from these hard points. But you know, for St. Clair who only needs 150 points to win inside of that map number one off of the reset, they just kept on going to back what they're good at, just playing together, waiting for each other off the spawn, setting up for those breaks and mm -hmm. pinching a lot of those hard points. And, you know, with the way that St. Clair's shooting today, I mean, Bendy's really showed up on this oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah, for sure. And alongside Priestley, those ARs are ruthless on a map like Rio to allow Nacho and Brandon to just do what they do best, get in that hard point and soak up that time. So a fantastic showcase from St. Clair on one of their best maps, Rio. And that's going to bring us now into the Search and Destroy, map number two. Yeah. So we go back into Rio. Yeah, and talking to coach slash caster Zarin, he's pretty confident in the Saints' abilities on Search and Destroy, so I'm excited to see whether or not, you know, maybe that confidence is misplaced or not. I'm pretty sure that they are pretty strong on Search and Destroy, oh, yeah. so I know the Saints are going to deliver on this map coming up, but just reflecting on that last game a little bit more, if there's one thing I remember very strong is every time I felt like the Saints were having a strong lead, it's because Penj all day was really just boxed into one tiny corner of the map and then like you said Brandon and Nacho just swirling around like flies I think the scariest thing to see in Call of Duty is Brandon prone in front of you in a tight corridor I think that's a very scary sight to see and Penj all day kept seeing it a lot look I used to team with Priestley like way back a couple of years ago I think I want to say like five years ago for the Saints team and 
if there's one thing that you can always guarantee is that Priestley is going to fry. And yes. he's been showing up in every single match to alongside Bendy. And I, I think that is a really scary thing. Um, matching up against the St. Clair team because yesterday it didn't seem like that was all there. But now with the pieces clicking for Saints, they're looking to make this lower bracket run Ooh. into the lower finals. Starting off strong, now on the defense for this Rio. The opening picks, it's going to be one, one to one. It's a three on three. Bendy looking for the flank and that's going to open up a little bit of a route here to hopefully allow St. Clair to retake this site. Retake it is their dream. It's a 2v1, so it's not going to be a very far-fetched one. Jay Swix, uh, he's looking to find his way back up there. Defend this bomb, but not really going to find it. Going to get taken down. Maybe a little bit of extra fire there, but defuse is going to come out. These teams are a lot more civilized than the last two we were seeing. A lot of yelling was going on in that last year's. I loved it personally. But... Oh, yeah. I mean, that was ruthless. <laughs> that is a good rivalry up on stage when it's Gon Bowser versus, uh, versus Conwa. But mm. for, for these two, you know, Nacho, just letting them know there that... You you know, they got to remember Nacho is an animal when it comes down to this rival nine. And if you allow Nacho to heat up, especially in a search and destroy, three kills in round number one, you have to look to put some leashes on these players for St. Clair, especially on a map like Rio. Watch these lanes, hold those irons, draw these first bloods, and try to make these Saints players a little bit uncomfortable, especially when it comes down to, you know, not allowing them to take space easily. For sure. It goes without saying, you know, having first blood go on your team's head is definitely a disadvantage, but I feel like especially more so when it's Nacho getting that first blood, it feels like the momentum just picks up there, there, and that three kills in that first round really goes to show up. But Brandon finding the first blood here with a nade, maybe a lucky shot, maybe it's calculated, who knows, but another nade kill. The first two kills in this game are both from grenades. Maybe we're going to see a nice streak of nade kills for the rest of this round. Who knows? A gentleman's agreement, perhaps. But as we're seeing them come through, Aram finds Brandon from behind. And in this corridor, he's going to fit a little bit of a pincer area over there, but he's able to stay alive for a bit longer. Priest is going to fall down eventually, but Bendy finds his way onto the point, taking down one with a nice drop shot. And in the blink of an eye, this game is turned into a one-on-one -on -one situation. 24 All seconds. things on stakes are higher than they've ever been. But Bendy going around the corner. That dumpster, unfortunately, not able to really find that shot. Going to lose it out. Yeah, Storm's getting the good timing there towards the end. Bendy just barely misses out on seeing Storm's flanking through that P2 area of the map. And as soon as, you know, Bendy turns that corner, Storm sees an opportunity to get close. And Rival 9 versus MCW, that close on a map. <laughs> I'm going to take the Rival 9 in those fights, even if Bendy's shooting a little bit different today. But that's a good answer back from the side of Penj all day. Tying this Rio search and destroy up 1-1. Finally putting an end to Nacho early as well. Nacho, I thought he was going to be getting away with that as well, just hiding in the corner. But the nade's going to clean him up off the start. And it's a fantastic hit from Aram along side Twix to pinch from boxes as well as the back of Barrage. So let's see if they can keep that coordination up. Winders going to be looking for a first blood over towards B to get this bomb down again. I really respect these players' commitment to making sure they check every single sight line. They really don't have a choice. You know, whenever you don't check a sight line. Bendy's but, all the way behind again. Ooh, very unfortunate. He's kind of split up from his team, but this could be a good thing. He's coming up from behind on the side of uh, Penjal Day now. Yeah, but he's not needed. St. Clair ooh. still finding the kills. Aram's going to have to trade out two versus three. Bendy's still working this flank. So if Penjal Day want to win this round they got to work fast bendy now towards the bridge aram has no idea he's finessing his life without the information it's a 1v1 again and bendy oh he God. doesn't know where to look 16 seconds they're finally gonna spot each other bendy's gotta choose the player or the bomb he's gonna hop it right away Hey, Ram's oh, gonna check it. God. He doesn't see it right away, but he's gonna check the bomb. No ninja defuses just yet. You don't really have a choice, there, unfortunately. Even if you stop defuse to get the kill, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have had the time. So might as well take the gamble, the one that gives you a chance at having the victory. But he's a little too fast there with that rival nine. Yeah, I, I think that A Ram played that perfectly mm -hmm. with kind of a little bit of a bad timing there from Bendy, making the full rotation all the way around the map towards the outer side of the bridge. Doesn't spot the player in you. Aram drops down in towards P5, just under the bridge at just the right time. And without that information, yeah, Bendy doesn't want to go on a wild goose chase. So only a couple of things that Bendy could have done there. Penjol Day putting two together, defense and offense. So back onto the defensive side. St. Clair looking for a quick hit over towards A. Wonders is here. A first blood would be big for Penge all day, but losing the first blood might be a little bit dire. Yeah, a little bit dire. Might be an understatement. Jace Twist going to go down next, but they're at least going to get Brandon in the meantime. Storms is the last man standing. Like I said, in the blink of an eye, they're losing so many players, and Saints 
on the point already. I don't know if I, I don't know if uh, Twix thought the trophy system was a person. <laughs> Why are we shooting away. the trophy system when the team's already on the A side? It's just a sitting duck. Unfortunately, for Penge all day, maybe it was a miscue. Maybe you just saw something you didn't. But they get pieced. Aram and Twix just standing on top of each other there get pieced. And St. Clair, uh, it's an incredible hit over towards A. They just follow up with sheer aggression and, you know, catch some good timing through that garage, forcing the gunfights into the face of Penj all day. And answering back after losing two rounds in a row. So that's going to keep us even here on Rio Search and Destroy. We swap sides again. Penj all day. They've been looking to this B side, and it doesn't seem like this is going to change just yet for their offensive rounds. Brandon's going to be playing a little bit more passive and Parisi this time opens up with that first blood almost doubled down by Brandon but that's going to bring Penj all day to a full halt and the nades now leaving Penj all day in a 2v4. It's up to Storms oh, and Aram to claw their way out of this. Yeah, claw they will but hey, they might be a line backed up against the wall so clawing might be their best strategy here. Coming up now, Saints already stopping the push. Don't even really have a chance for an analogy in that sort of time span and hey I feel like the Saints team is a team literally powered by laughter you see Nacho having a great time up there you see that you know the Saints are going to be playing well so I know that they're really feeling themselves they're excited and optimistic I'm sure they're going to be excited for these next games coming up or these next rounds and maybe they're going to start having some rows in a, uh, rounds in a row for themselves here not going to let Penge all day have all the fun as we head into this next search and destroy round Saints on the attacking side let's see if Penge all day is going to be able to mount a defense as strong as the Saints in the previous round if anyone's going to get picked off by nades that would be devastating unfortunately for either of these teams no nades are going to get found out just yet but Saints are going oh actually a huge hit comes in they have to run away but Brandon finds that kill before too much can happen and Ensley finds the flank on Wonder Storms watching a site recognizing that that might be in a bit of trouble but fortunately right now saints already on the site for b getting that plant down yeah bomb down twix oh it doesn't see him Priestley hops off the bomb and twix makes this a double kill it's into a 2v2 without the bomb planted now saint Clair, they're gonna have to make a play for the bomb and it looks like P Penj all day just gonna group together see if they can isolate a couple kills bendy on the flank yet again. How many times Ooh. do we get to see him just find the right timing? Whoa, and everything okay. falls apart for Penge in the blink of an eye. Twix almost making the play for the team, bringing things into a 2v2, but not reading the map quite correctly. And they get trapped between the Saints once again. Saints just two rounds away from taking this series. If you asked me like two rounds ago, that would feel like a lot. But right now, with the way the Saints are playing, those rounds could go away in the blink of an eye. I feel like right now, the way they're playing they've really got this figured out Penj all day is gonna have to do something differently here if they want to have a chance of staying alive in this lower bracket going into this next round I'm sure the Saints feeling comfortable Penj all day I hope they have something cooked up under their sleeves to make really shake things up four in a row for Nacho after starting this game three and oh it's been nothing but sprees in Rio search and destroy for this sub it's an a hit out of Penj all day. Traded. Wonder is going to find a second one. Back and forth affair, but it's into a 2v1 for Saints. Nacho now going to have to turn this four in a row to six in a row. And that would be a streak for St. Clair if he clutches up. And look at this read that he has. Either they push through your spawn or they wrap this over towards B. So Nacho is going to give up the plant, play for the 50-50, hope somebody gives this into a one versus one. But Penj all day, they are hunting him down. They don't even know where they want to go yet. Oh, but can you find that? No, not going to have a chance to make that play. Honestly, 2v1s in search. It really sounds like such a huge downside. But like you said, sometimes it just comes down to a 50-50. And as a fighting game player, I know that, that your odds are better in a 50-50 than some situations where you're more favored. So you'll take it. And that right there, if Nacho finds the kill and gets away, that's a St. Clair round. I, you know, I would put that in his hands every day of the week, <laughs> especially on five in a row. So that is a major shutdown for Penj all day, taking down the streak of Saints. And you can see that they're bringing this one back into a one-round deficit. So keeping St. Clair away from that fifth round, keeping this one in fighting distance of each other. Penj all stay still very much in the search and destroy. And they're going to go for a more passive approach towards mm. this defensive side. Very spread out towards the middle. They have a member in towards you. Now Woo! in the bomb. It's Twix for a first blood. 
Looking for number two. The Nate's gonna find it. Priestley down. Numbers for Penj all day as they're looking to tie up this game. Yeah, very well done. Penj all day. I feel like what's been really getting them recently is just getting it picked off early on in these search and destroy rounds. And now that they're playing really nice, tight, calm, and cool, not letting anybody slip away, slip out of their fingers, they're really coming out hot in this next round. Saints force to play a little bit more aggressively. Notch is going to go down, but he's going to take one with him. Unfortunately, last Saint alive is not going to be able to do the same thing. And that's going to be a tied series now for this search and destroy. It's been back and forth, trading and then streak and then trading once again. It's my favorite type of Call of Duty, just going blow for blow with each other. Is there anything you can do, we can do that as well. And for Twix, 11 and 6 in the search and destroy, absolutely frying St. Clair right now, doing everything that he can to draw those first bloods and continue to keep that advantage in their favor as he finds that first, second, and final kill. That's three. No, for Twix actually four in a row right now oh, four penge all day so you know, going above and beyond right now for your team tying the series back up or at least the map back up four four they're gonna go back onto the attacking side back over towards a where they won this last time it's a triple stack from st Clair, doubled up in towards boxes for the crossfire and it's gonna pay off for first blood going the way of the saints nacho taking up wonders and now they have uh they have brandon watching for any flanks and he might find the juiciest one of all can he get this one yes he will headshot onto uh, j sticks and that's gonna put that streak yeah. in the dirt no longer gonna have to worry about that aram's gonna take down brandon a little bit of a vengeance kill but you're gonna have to Storms. take that one has to check his left he will 2v2 staying alive as well and drawing the information of the shots Heals back up, and Aram's going to spot the player down and towards P3. So a lot of information now for Penjolte to play with, but St. Clair going back to their tried and true. They are separating this time. They get isolated. It's Nacho in a one versus two. Oh. Gives himself away. 30 seconds. Has oh. the right stance as well, but he's got to play this one close. It's going to be tough. Will the timing pay off? Slides in towards you, and Penj all day continue their spree. Three rounds in a row putting St. Clair to rest. Such unfortunate timing. First, he shoots just as he goes around the corner. Then he uh, he turns the corner just as they come around, and then he goes in just as soon as he made that rotation. Uh, sometimes you get three bad dice rolls in a row, but now Saints looking down potential game point here. They don't want to go down here, but I know they are capable of a lot in these scary situations. So let's see whether or not they're going to find the answer to whatever Penjal Day's answer was to them initially. Can they count? Counter the counter. We're already going to see some nades get committed. Aram going to throw one down, and Brandon is going to find a nice, clean first blood onto Wonders. That's going to completely open up A. St. Clair have a chance to get this bomb down and actually properly set up in a post plant. So they're going to send a player over to watch the flank. That's Bendy and every single player from Penj all day working this flank. I'm curious to see if they actually draw back over towards mid, if they're just going to full send it. And it looks like they're just going to full send it to Bendy. And he's going to fall down eventually. The three-man rotation coming on one side. The Saints are just rotating around, wrapping around. They know they just have to stall a little bit longer. Defusing takes a oh, long Aram. time. Yeah, Aram's getting around. Can he find Nacho? The time he's going to work out. Nobody's going to be watching this one. They thought they had boxes cleared, but Aram's going to jump over someone. He has no idea. Aram's lost to the sauce. He's still alive, though. That's all that matters, but not for much longer. Brandon's eventually going to take him down. I, I want to see the POV of the guy that was <laughs> crouched in front of him. Did, did he jump over him in such a way that he landed out of his line of sight? I think they just missed each other. <laughs> I, I genuinely think they just missed each other. And that wow. is so heartbreaking for Penj all day. After putting three rounds in a row, it's going to a round 11. And St. Clair still have a chance at going up 2-0 in this series after dominating map one over on the Rio hardpoint. This has been a neck and neck search and destroy. The side of Penj all day really showcasing their adaptations here in this game mode. And Aram and Twix are having themselves a ball. 11 kills each, 22 between the two of them. Let's see if they can carry them to a map win. Wonders jumping from one kill to two kills. And this might be the most important he's found all game. Yeah, this is definitely the situation <gasps> we want. No, oh, no way! I heard the shriek. <laughs> I just didn't expect him to hit anything. And Wonders is going to fall. I, uh, 
devastating. Take it away. This is devastating. I know you might not have very positive things to say right now, so I'll keep it nice and cheery as we see the Saints getting ready to go. The bomb is down, sure, but Nacho taking down one more. Aram taking down almost two, but almost does not win you a game. The Saints clearing things out. Brandon on that defuse. You're taking this search and destroy home with a nice 2-0 in this matchup right now. Penj all day only has one more game to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, whether, uh, whether you saw it or not, that was definitely something to behold. You don't have to see it to believe it. The kill feed doesn't lie. You couldn't have played that better. <laughs> you couldn't have played that break off better if you were Penj all day. Wonders, first blood <sighs> with the rival nine from Banana. And, and then you drop the streak. You've been banking on that streak. It's the round oh. 11. It opens up the site for a plant. This is awkward. Why are we dropping it on Twix? Where where was Twix standing? Maybe he insulted him. Maybe he everybody him. on St. Clair was in their spawn. There is I don't know what they were thinking with that cruise missile. I have no idea what was uh. happening in that last round, but they had everything going their way leading into that round 11 and uh in the blink of an eye, I, you know, it just seemed like maybe the nerves got to you in that round 11. Maybe you just were not confident in where that missile was going to land, but Mm. Uh, Penge all day. I mean, if they watch this one back, they are going to be kicking themselves when they see that. I hope they don't watch this one back. This is the one you skip over in Vaudeville for sure. But hey, you know what? It's the same stage after all. Maybe someone had some like remote mouse tool and just kind of, or they play on controllers, remote controller thing. Maybe one of the Xbox controllers linked up to the computer. Someone's playing Mortal Kombat and kind of took control. Who knows at this point? But. Well, all that matters is that missile hit your teammate on top of his head and. You lost the game. Hey, you know, <laughs> recent cruise missile buffs, maybe, you know, you could chalk it up to the explosion radius being just a, a little bit bigger, but... But then that would have hit a saint. <laughs> I don't know where that missile landed. I didn't get to see where that <laughs> missile landed, but it, that is heartbreaking if you're a fan of this Penj all day team because that could have been a 1-1 series in comparison mm -hmm. to now you're down 0-2 heading into a Karachi control, which St. Clair, you know, they've been playing a lot of invasion a this lot. tournament, a lot of invasion. And now you're moving in towards a Karachi control where you have everybody clicking on St. Clair. Bendy's playing fantastic today. Priestley right alongside him is still just mm. doing Priestley things. And then Nacho <laughs> in that search and destroy was frying, especially in the rounds where he would go on sprees, three in a row, four in a row. And then you put it all together in the fact that I was talking to the team and Brandon's having one of the best years of COD I've ever seen Brandon play. And you just click in here at TXP3, moving over towards Karachi. If they continue to play the way that they are with the offensive favor that Karachi kind of gives you, we can see this team walk away with the 3-0. Saints looking to punch their ticket into the lower finals. Absolutely. Saints on a very nice hot streak right now here at TXP3. It all comes down to this for the Saints. They've had a long and hard tournament so far. One of the most favored teams in this tournament, but here they are in the lower finals or lower semifinals, and they really want to make sure they get into that top three. Wonders finding the first blonde, the Priestley and Bendy. Maybe they don't want that to happen. They're already on the point, taking control of A. So things are looking pretty good for Penge all day as things are just getting started out wonders just narrowly avoiding death and in fact dishing some out no nope. Priestley's gonna take him down before he can do too much more and yeah, not a great map too from wonders did open up that last round with the first blood but gonna be looking to have a little bit better in the respawn now as Penjol day starting off on the offense this is where they can really kick things into gear for a map like Karachi but no support and towards the hill. It's going to take the side of Penge off of this point. And Twix gets the information on the member pushing towards your spawn. You have players on B for Penge really separated here. And the support now looking to reinforce this B zone. Hopefully get, get taken care of the less preferred side. But three go down in retaliation. Sang's going to make that four in a row. And now they can set this up into a spawn trap. Yeah, and they look to be finding it. It's, it's going their way, it seems, so far. Nacho's going to go down, unfortunately. And this A site is looking pretty good for Penj all day, but the Saints are slowly fighting back. Lives, thankfully, are tied up. Penj all day finding one more pip over on this site. But Saints are coming in a very strong force. Brandon taking down one. Now two? Never mind. He's going to go down. Aram thought he was as good as gone, but he's fighting back stronger than ever. And Twix is over at B, fortunately enough for Saints. 
Claire Pe Priestley's going to take down that member, but still lots more work to be done. Wonders finds the trade, looking to hop in towards the zone, has to stay alive. The shot's going to connect, and there's the trade yet again. Penjol Day, they have made their way in towards the back of Cafe, but can they turn this into an Ooh. offensive round just yet? No, Priestley, or sorry, Nacho and Bendy keeping things in favor of Saints here. They're going to still look to trade things out with lives just about even on both sides. Three go down for St. Clair, and this is the Karachi special. They can stack the zone. They can win this here. Yeah, and this is not going to be very much possible to do for the Saints. They don't get there in time. And even if they did, there's a bunch of walls and a rooftop keeping them safe. It's as safe as you can really get on a point, and they're going to take that round one over the Saints. Oh, that's Karachi that. in a nutshell. <laughs> I mean, you get rid of A as quick as possible. Uh, maybe just tiptoe your way onto B every once in a while. Continue to hold at least time in your favor. All you really need on, is time on the offensive side. It doesn't matter how many lives you have. It's just one moment, one break over towards that B zone, and it's pretty much done and dusted. And we see it there for Penj all day, starting off this round one of the control with an offensive win inside Karachi. Taking that Ted Lasso special, Goldfish Brain, forgetting about what happened map one, map two, and just moving mm -hmm. on. See if they can start this reverse sweep into the defensive side. A win here might actually shift things into oh. your favor as Twix is going to find a way out oh, with the wow. MCW beaming Bendy to go down. Now they have to worry about B. That was a very nice shot indeed, but the Saints are already stacking up on B, finding one pip of progress. Aram running in, throwing out some nades, but he's going to take a lot of damage. In the meantime, Priest is going to take down one, but there's still two members of Penj all day finding their way in, but Priest is going to go down eventually, clear it up on B. The Saints, I don't know if they want to go for A or B here. It looks like they don't even know themselves, kind of getting caught in the crossfire. Nacho is going to take down one at the very least. It seems they're hard committing for B right now. They have some on A. They're just wreaking uh, absolute chaos over on Penj all day, forcing them to really try to commit to one or the other point. You see Saints are really break banking on keeping the attention over towards B. Well, they clean up A, but Wonder is hitting the flank all the way through the spawn. He's going to take one, but still St. Clair with some presence, holding on to this time. Twix snapping over towards Nacho. Brilliant shots there. Three down for Saints Gaming. And now oh, Penge all wow. day can look towards these spawns, set up the spawn trap like St. Clair attempted to, and look to go back to back in rounds. Oh. A Ram, the timing is great. Not able to get the streak further. Nacho trades it, but the damage is done. 23 playing 16, and Saints with 44 seconds left. They have to start thinking about dedicating some time over towards this A site. Things are looking, honestly, it's, it's, it's up in the air right now. Saints have 30 seconds left. They have one pip on both points. It's not possible for them to find something, but like you said, they really got to figure out and commit to one point and really make it work. If they really need that extra time. They're slowly inching in. Crazy finds his way onto B, but Wonders in the stairway gets taken down by Nacho. Bendy taking down J-Sticks as well. Now, Cafe they're contesting for it. Bendy off on the sidelines fighting. Oh, that could have been two really critical kills. But unfortunately, he's going to go down. They're just too quick on the trigger. And we have Nacho sitting on A very comfortably. Can they get this? If you could just get this kill, this would be huge for you. You get one, but there's one behind you. Jaystwix taking down and even another one of the Saints. And it looks to be things are losing control. Pawn definitely intended for the Saints. I don't know if they can really get back on any of these points in time. And I know right now, I mean, 14 and 8, you have to give it to Wonders the way he's bouncing back after that search and destroy. But uh, Jay Twix, the, uh, like the way he's playing today across this whole tournament, it's just so consistent with that MCW in hand. You see him putting three kills in a row over towards A, making sure that St. Clair can not get on towards that zone for free. And it, it just allows so much for the rest of your team to have an opening around the map to uh, just continue to lay down the pressure against these Saints. And that's two rounds in a row for the side of uh, for the side of Penge all day. And not only that, they hold St. Clair to only two ticks of progress in an offensive round. So right now, the tick progress, if this does go to a round five, it is six to two in favor of Penge all day. St. Clair, they have a mountain to climb right now if they want to swing things in their favor of a potential 3-0. And uh, hey, these guys, they love climbing mountains. You wouldn't guess that about them, but Priestley showing he's got the skills to make it work. Unfortunately, you got to do a lot more climbing on this one. Penj all day, they're a very steep hill to climb. Jay's Twix taking down the one on the roof. That's going to be Priestley. Nacho's going to take him down in response. And Saints still doing a good job of holding down A. They already got one on B, ready for this tactic now. They're not going to get too distracted, but Nacho wonders coming up from behind, taking him down as he's climbing up the 
the rooftop. He's the king of the roofs. He's the one that rules over here his domain. No one gets to rule it. But from the rival kingdom, Priestly taking him out. But an assassin is going to find his way in. A, hey, you know, 45 seconds left. Not a single pip. Not a lot of progress anywhere. Saints are doing a pretty good job, even though it might not necessarily look like it on the kill feed. Yeah, I mean, right now it's just, you know, Wonders is looking like he's the user of Malevolent Shrine right now, just cutting through everything as St. Clair's thrown at him on this control. 17 and 11, alongside Twix, 16 and 10, very similar on the both sides, but Tix taking his sights over towards B. Nice shots there, gonna oh, take the rival nine now, just in case you need it, if things get mixy, but the MCW, five. it's been cooking, he's on five in a row, now playing for that cruise missile, but with the way that Penge are setting up, they want to put this one away nice. and send us to map number four, cruise missile is there for Twix, but over towards A, they're looking to finish the zone in another minute to the clock. Yeah, you got to make sure using this cruise missile, you don't want to kill one of your teammates. That's for damn sure. But you're going to have to use this to its maximum effectiveness. But even so, the Saints, they're still struggling here. Might not even need to use that cruise missile the way Penj all day has been playing. But obviously, it's a nice thing to have. Seems that the Saints are... Holding down B, pretty strong right now. Storm trying to find his way in, but meeting a lot of resistance. Saints are everywhere right now. Some on roofs, some was in the streets, but ultimately they're going to clear up B, find their way in. Just one more doorway is going to be preventing them from finding that sweet, sweet control point. Wonder is also taking them out as they try to find their way up there. Still have not found feet on the point just yet, but the Saints are doing a great job rotating, catching off the flankers. Jace Twix actually going to fall somehow. I thought that was as good as a free kill for him. But hey, look at the live six to seven we might see this go to the kill feed yeah it, it might still 40 seconds six playing six and st Clair doing their best to stay alive in this one a ram beautiful shots there gonna take brandon off the heady continue to keep this pressure down bendy keeping things back and forth five versus five now is live starting to dwindle you don't want to give them up for free. 21 seconds. Nice. Bendy going to make it three in a row for himself this spree. But no here comes team. Storms on the flank. No SMB. more respawns for both sides. So no more worry of a flank potential. But Storms is here. And Storms is oh. going to lead the way. A double kill for Storms. And they've made their way in. They made their way in for sure, and they want to keep it there, but no way, Brandon and Nacho, the duel made in heaven. They're going to find one for each of them, and he is on B. At least they know where he is. He's just going to pre-fire, but he's not going to do it enough. The Saints find their way in. We're going to see this go to lives. The Saints find one round on the board for this control map. They just got to do it two more times. That's it. <laughs> Easy, right? Easier said than done. <laughs> But they're going back to the offensive side. They, they've won a defense. The big issue here is that if you're St. Clair looking at this, everybody wants that round five defense. I'm not sure if that's the case when it comes down to Karachi, which one these players prefer. Some players do prefer that round five offense for a map like this, but St. Clair are trailing when it comes down to progression in these zones. I think that was a total of, I, I want to say four zone pro progression there for Penjil Day and if that's the case it's 10 to 2 in favor of Penjil Day when it comes down to that zone progression so St. Clair you have to win this offense and most likely do it back to back yeah and Aram already doing so much damage coming off of that rooftop the Saints trying to find their way into B getting in there but can you stay no gonna get shot through the door but that means A's actually kind of open if they can find that pickoff on the member of Penjil Day that's there and the one coming up as well this could be a very clean and easy A site for the Saints to push but they're doing it nice and slow. Here's a streak. Yeah, the, oh, the streak was used, but I don't think it's going to fall. Oh, it's going to find Nacho. Hey, that's one free kill you don't have to worry about. Would have been a very helpful thing to have in that previous round. But Saints are taking things slow, like I was saying. Just trying to find a measured approach. But if you're looking at the lives, it doesn't seem to be working very well. Yeah, if you just take a look at the minimap, how Penj all day are setting up right now this defense. They have St. Clair bottlenecked in their spawn. They have to fight their way out, take these early gunfights. And that's going to shave off so much time from this clock as well as so many lives still 30 seconds oh, wow. left a ram's going to be shut down from that five spree but st Clair trailing 23 to 17 in lives and they're gonna have to make some magic happen most likely go towards a twix the shots don't land but st Clair, they're gifted a chance here three go down and they're on a hey you said they need to make magic happen and i think brandon's a magician he just cast a spell called bullet into the skull of penj all day they're sitting on a site time is frozen nothing is going to stop the saints right now unless they can get a crazy play hey this is where you're wishing you had a cruise missile or two but saints they're gonna be able to get that prox no they're gonna lose it out and now time is draining they're under 
doing all the progress. The Saints, you want to just throw yourselves on the point, but you know you have to have a little bit more control. This is your last chance in this control map. This is done. This is pretty done. Oh, wait! Four Did seconds left. Storms watching the crossfire. 1.2 seconds. Twix on the flank. St. Clair, they have to go towards A. They're going to get that zone. 16 to 10 in lives. A-Ram's going to finish off the rest. Off the exits. And now two members from St. Clair on the overextension. They're at B. I may have called this one a little too early. Hey, the Saints, they are all running over to B. They got a good one, but Nacho's gonna get kicked, taken off on that flank. Six lives left for the Saints, while uh, Penge all day has 15, now five for the Saints. One more life before they're playing off of no respawns. Wonders is on the He's looking for something. I think they don't even care about the objective right now. They just want to get those lives. Well, he knows Bendy's in their spawn, and they have to look for this member. But for everybody else for Penge all day, they're just gonna set a line of scrimmage ahead of things. First segment in at B, St. Clair grasping at straws within this control. Another kill, it's Priestley, really? storms the flank, it connects. Two members on the zone now, <laughs> and the stack just what? works out. Pen Chalte, I, I, throwing I, the rounds away. <laughs> I'm getting some deja vu from that round 11 that we just saw in the search and destroy. That was 15 to 5 in that lives. Was incredible. I can even see Siri out there. He's drinking, you can see him drinking the water. He's like, whoa, whoa, he looks so surprised. Everyone was surprised by that one. That was well, you know, I respect the strategy from the Saints. I see what I see what Penjal Day was going for. Probably not, but I think what they're going for, like I said, wonders. You saw it in his eyes. He wanted the kills. They wanted to go for the lives, but it's B site. They're all gonna be in the same spot. They're boxed in. So they wanted to guys corral them into the you, one spot. Well, you have nobody who can go over half hole because Bendy's watching it. Mm. And the player top is Soda gets caught. Priestley makes sure of that. And everybody else is like, you touch the zone, you touch the zone, or you touch the zone. And, and nobody's just going to get there in time. You need the communication to be a little bit more there for Penj all day in those dire moments. And they are letting this one slip through their fingertips. Uh -huh. St. Clair, they take an offensive round, and already they're off to a great start in this one. Twix going to take a member off of this A zone, but uh -huh. it's already captured. What is happening? Is this the same team? Did Zarin make a threat about their scholarships or something? They're playing out of their minds right now, and they are going to take A without being hindered in the slightest. And Zarin all the way to B. Zarin would never. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> He's too kind. 100%. 25 playing 23, though. And we have seen a hotly contested A zone across the last four rounds. And this time, St. Clair, they just barreled their way through Priestley. He's going to make his way onto the words of the zone, see if he can get any progression. Fortunately for Penge all day, they're going to take him off of this one and send St. Clair right back to the respawn. Yeah, these Saints with a newfound motivation, a newfound fire. They are completely dominating right now. A minute and 45 seconds to work with here, but they can't let it get to their heads. They still have to play smart. This is Penjol they were talking about. This team took the Saints 2-0 in this control side of things. They are more than capable of bringing this back. The Saints still need to figure out how to get onto the site and stick there. Wonders, 30 and 27. Twix, 28 and 23. Aram, 28 and 23. Storms, 26 oh and God. 20. They are frying. But can they put it together one more time here on the defense? Nacho watching the push over towards Soda Alley. Everybody else grouped over towards the cafe. Lovely shots at the rival nine. Nacho's on four in a row. And now Priestley looking to get in towards the zone and be an absolute nuisance. Minute 10 still on the clock. Wonders, another one going back and forth. Priestley dropped from the zone. It's Nacho. Five in a row. Can he get that streak? He can. Of course he can. Cruise missiles here. The gates are open. Saints are on B. Saints are on B indeed. They're sitting there pretty comfortably trying to find their way onto the B site and they're all there stacking it. It's frying, they're cooking, it's sizzling. And Penjol, they only have seven lives to work with. I don't know if they can do this one. Bendy and the squad, they're all way too comfortable in this cafe. And they've gone ahead and done it. Saints advance in TXP3. Unfortunately, Penjol Day, they're going home. But hey, it was one hell of a match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We just witnessed a breakdown on main stage. 2-0 in the control on Karachi. Penj all day. They get reverse Ooh. swept in map number three to get swept in this series. Brooms out. Saints keep going. And they got a date in the lower final versus Nobility Rising. What a show of composure from these four members. Smiles on their face because even they are probably in disbelief of what they just did. <laughs> 15 to 5 in round number 4. They sneak wow. away. I said it. 
Karachi is just one of those maps. It doesn't matter how many lives you have. It just matters how much time you have. If you get onto that B zone, you get four down, chalk it up. That, that's the round done and dusted. And, and St. Clair, they just show that it's just it's never truly done. I mean, that is, that is typical, to say the least, at a St. Clair. And what an insane showcase there in the control. Hey, uh, I got to say, this game's growing on me. Seeing that, you can't fall in love with it. Those players, every single one, every single second on that field was pure entertainment. You know what? Maybe Zarin told them that this is made of pure gold. I mean, ooh, it's too heavy. Yeah, I think it might be, you know. This is a great prize to be fighting for, and I'm sure the Saints want this more than anything. So they are playing at their 100% right now. No holding back. There's no reason to. But like I said, this team might also be powered by laughs. And during that entire series, they were always having a great time, smiling, laughing. What a, what, what a team. They play so well together. But of course, not to say anything less about Penge all day. A very strong squad, a very solid lineup, and they delivered for sure, giving the Saints a run for their money. Yeah. I, no, I want to give my flowers over towards Penj all day quickly for, you know, showing up over towards TXP3 because, you know, not a lot of players are going to be, uh, I guess, very known there on the squad when it comes down to, you know, experience and mm -hmm. titles and, and wins on the, under their belts. But, I mean, these four members are Canadian veterans. These are some of the best that Canada has in the local scene, and they showed up here in Toronto, or in Toronto, in <laughs> Windsor for TXP3. Ah, same thing. And they played their hearts out. They played fantastic. And these are four members who... Every single time you look over towards those Discord for Canadian aides, they're always there grinding the game, making sure they're on top of things, playing together, having a great time. And it's great to see them make top four here in TXP3. Penge all day. I mean, they won't, they shouldn't walk away from this tournament with their heads held low. They played absolutely fantastic. But they are going to be dipping out in top four. Fourth place here at TXP3 goes to Penge all day. And St. Clair live to fight another series. Mm -hmm. And... I think that's going to be all for us here in the lower semifinals as we're moving in towards it. St. Clair going to be continuing on stage versus Nobility Rising in the lower finals. Winner moves to play God Bowser and Pulsive on the main stage for grand finals, folks. We're going to cut things to a break. You're watching TXP3. Trophies on the line. We're going to be getting a champion very soon. You don't want to miss it.